tutorial, we will see how to edit transfer functions within Mori. To edit a transfer function, just go to the transfer function property of the desired processor and click on the edit button. Since the transfer function widget will appear. For convenience, you can drag it in to the dock area and start editing the transfer function. You have four different ways to edit the transfer function based on 1D intensity transfer functions based on the intensity ramp, as in the windowing approach, a PET intensity color mapping, and a 2D intensity gradient transfer function. Here we are in the 1D transfer function mode. Here you can see the histogram of the dataset, and you have the keys on the area, where you can also add keys, and move them, and immediately see the visual feedback of the transfer function. So let's try to make the bones of this dataset visible. We just tune the transfer function accordingly. So we need a little more here. Let's see. Okay. So this is the bone structure plus a little bit of the contrast enhanced vessels. Now we know that in CT skin has a low intensity in the bone. So to visualize the skin, we just add a key here. Now we can change it by adding, setting the color to a kind of skinnish color and do it also for the memory keys. Additionally, we can push the shift button to just move a key up and down independent of the mouse movement, which helps you to find the alpha intensity. It's the same you can do when you click on a line. Okay. So this is a 1D transfer function which you can also export and load later. The intensity ramp is basically a transfer function which is similar to the windowing approach. So you set the center of the ramp and then you set your window width and so you can explore the data set based on this. The intensity gradient is a conventional 2D transfer function. So you can drag primitives on the display and then you get the gradient based transfer function and you can also calculate the histogram and then you can see the 2D histograms of the gradient transfer function. And with each of these primitives you can assign a color And you can also assign transparency and the fuzziness. Of course, you can also load and export these transfer functions. This finishes our transfer function tutorial.